Over the last 10 years, the Department of Radiology at the University of Florida College of Medicine has conducted a simulation-based evaluation of radiology resident competence in critical care imaging. 243 residents interpreted this case of orbital trauma as one of 65 cases during an 8-hour simulated on-call shift, with a median score of 2 out of 10 and an overall average score of 2.16 out of 10. Overall, the average number of points lost out of 10 to observational discipline was 7.62. At the same time, 0.02 points were lost due to interpretive errors on the part of the residents. We define an effective report to be one which achieves scores between 7 and 10. In terms of letter grades, this would be an A or a B. In this most missed case, 0% of residents produced effective reports. We define a report having a critical error to be one with scores between 0 and 2. In terms of letter grades, this would be an F or a D. In this most missed case, 81% of residents produced reports with critical errors. This 20-year-old male came into the emergency room, uh, our level one trauma center, uh, having been involved in a motor vehicle accident, uh, having struck his head, and had uh, superorbital ridge, uh, pain and an afferent pupillary defect. So we begin the evaluation by looking at soft tissues. There's some debris in the skin and then there's thickening of the superficial musculoaponeurotic system or the SMAS layer and then there's also some uh, there's some uh, soft tissue swelling in the deeper layers of the uh, scalp and in the preceptal orbital soft tissues and in the region of the uh, the uh, preceptal portion of the lacrimal gland. The eye itself appears normal. So with regard to the afferent pupillary defect, the next thing we want to do is have a look at the visual pathway more posteriorly, the eye being normal, and there is perhaps subtle loss of tissue planes back here at the orbital apex on the right compared to the left, but certainly no definitive orbital apex hematoma. So in order to explore that uh, more completely, we'll look at the bone windows. And the bone windows in the region of the orbital apex on the axial show this uh, odd appearance in the region of the optic strut uh, at its junction with the anterior clinoid. And, and uh, uh, that gas could be uh, intracranial extradural, but doesn't look like it's in the right place. That's pretty subtle stuff. So we go on uh, to have a, uh, a look at the orbital apex in the coronal plane. Subtle abnormalities should always be confirmed in two planes. And in fact, there's a disruption of the superior aspect of the orbital canal compared to the other side and a disruption of the floor of the optic canal. So there was trauma, the, uh, the force being uh, directed uh, back toward the uh, optic canal a fracture there and his afferent pupillary defect is due to an optic nerve injury. So this is a orbital blow-in type injury as opposed to a blow-out uh, and uh, we can uh, be sure to exclude orbital floor injury which uh, he has a, a very minor orbital floor injury and no medial orbital wall injury here. And in fact you'll notice that um, that the uh, orbital floor is not displaced inferiorly in these uh, orbital floor, uh, I'm sorry, in these um, blow-in type fractures, the uh, orbital floor fragments get uh, displaced cephalad in many cases. Also, particular to uh, orbital blow-in type fractures, there's a, a much higher rate of intracranial uh, abnormalities, and in this case, uh, of course, we would diligently search for that, even in uh, the case of a regular uh, orbital blowout fracture or any other craniofacial injury, but these orbital blow-ins have a higher association with intracranial complications, and there's a small extraaxial hematoma, most likely a small epidural. No definite temporal lobe contusion, but you probably would uh, have one uh, if you did an MR on him. So uh, we told the um, uh, referring service that we had a, uh, a, a cause for his uh, orbital, I'm uh, sorry, his, um, his uh, afferent pupillary defect. 
We called the emergency medical service who immediately uh, contacted the uh, ophthalmology service who had already seen the patient with the news of what caused his afferent uh, pupillary defect.